Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Today, we're gonna to look at enabling VMware Workstation inside of an Azure Virtual Machine. Uh, typically, the officially supported method to perform uh, what we're gonna be doing, uh, which is called nested virtualization, would be to utilize Hyper-V. Um, and for whatever reason, if you guys just don't prefer to use Hyper-V or you prefer to use VMware or the different kind of feature sets, uh, whatever it is, um, that's what this video is going to be about, and uh, hopefully it provides uh, some useful information to some of you guys. Um, so first and foremost, I do want to give credit to uh, the gentleman that uh, posted this online. I have found that this is not really a, a subject talked about um, quite a bit. Usually a lot of people just refer to using Hyper-V for the nested virtualization. Uh, so I did want to record a video for you guys uh, that would prefer to learn it this way. And I will be drop, uh, dropping the link to the, the blog post um, in the description if you guys want to see the original source. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, you guys could ignore this. This is just some stuff I've been playing around with. Um, but first and foremost, we'll go ahead and spin up an Azure virtual machine. So we'll just go into here. Uh, we'll go ahead and add virtual machine. Um, and the particular image and size um, should not be of much relevance. Maybe the Windows image might, um, but this is what I tested it on, which was uh, Windows 10 uh, 2004 with the E4S underscore V, uh, V4 size. Um, so I'll be using that for this video. You guys, again, should be able to uh, use other uh, builds as well. Um, and for the resource group, uh, I recently just created the lab, so I'll be using this, but you guys can, of course, create your own. Call this VMware test. Um, and then, of course, go ahead and just configure as normal uh, for whatever it is that you want to have in your environment. Don't forget to check this here at the bottom. And again, this is all going to be based on what you guys want to have in your particular environment. I'm just going to use the default settings. And we're going to go ahead and get this started. All right, so the deployment just completed. So let's go ahead and move over to the resource and get connected via RDP. All right, and we're in. So let's go ahead and first things first, um, we'll give it a second to settle, open up our web browser, and start downloading VMware Workstation. All right, you can just go to Google. I can just uh, navigate to the first link here. And I'll go ahead and drop these links in the uh, description as well, so you don't need to search if you don't feel like it. Uh, let's go ahead and install this as soon as it's done. Just takes a few seconds here. Default settings should be fine here for VMware Workstation. Now you can just uncheck this or however you want to do it. All right, and we're finished. So let's go ahead and open up VMware Workstation. Go ahead and play around with it for a second just to take a look at and see what the error is that we'll receive. Uh, let's go ahead and just try uh, enable the trial. And we'll just do file new virtual machine. Just do typical, I will install the OS later. 
Windows 10 default values are fine. And when we go ahead and try to power this on, we, we get an error here. VMware Workstation and Hyper-V are not compatible. Remove the Hyper-V role from the system before running VMware Workstation. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. Um, and so first things first, let me open up a notepad I have here with some handy dandy links. And I'll of course be dropping this in the description. Um, so we need to go ahead and grab uh, this uh, zip file from this Microsoft URL. All right, it's already done. Go ahead and extract this guy. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is a shift right click within the folder to open a PowerShell window. And we're gonna to want to run a couple of commands here. So first things first, we're gonna run this particular command. So let's just copy it, right click to paste, press enter. And we'll do a capital R for run once. And we'll wait for about a minute or so. All right, the script finished and it says, please reboot the machine for the settings to be applied. Uh, so we'll go ahead and initiate a reboot. All right, so I just went ahead and reconnected to the machine after the reboot was complete. And now what we want to do is we want to go back to the same directory. And open up another PowerShell window. Go back to our commands here, and we're going to do these three commands. Let's do this disable. All right, you should get an error. That's fine. You can ignore that. And what we also want to do is run these uh, commands as well. And you should get an error on that one as well. That's fine. And let's do this last one. And let's give the machine one more reboot. All right, so we're back in now for the third time. Let's go ahead and open VMware Workstation. And let's go ahead and try this again and see what happens. And there we go. So it's going to give us a little other uh, hint. You can just click OK. And we can see here we didn't have any operating system installed, but it seems to be working. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this one step further, and we'll go ahead and uh, mount a, um, a Windows ISO to it. So I have a link that I have that I'm going to download it, and I'll, I'll drop a link as well in the description how you guys can, can get an ISO to test with if you guys don't have one. All right, so I just got my ISO uh, downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and mount it via the CD drive here. Restart it, and there we go. Let's go ahead and pre proceed with the Windows install, and let's uh, see if there's any bugs or anything. All right, and we're back. So I went ahead and skipped the first time wizard for you, and of course, skipped through the Windows install. Um, but look at that, we're up and running with a Windows 10 uh, virtual machine running in VMware Workstation. Um, so let's play around with it a little bit further and kind of see if uh, 
everything seems to be working. Go ahead and try to open up Edge here. All right, looks pretty good. Seems to be working. Let's see if uh, VMware uh, Tools works. May need to navigate manually if it doesn't start. All right, VMware tools seems to install. Let's reset. Wow, look at that. So the resizing is already working. Looks great. It's of course going to prompt for a reboot here, but um, I'll just skip that for right now. Um, but there you have it, folks. Fully fledged virtual machine uh, via nested virtualization with VMware Workstation in Azure. Um, so I really hope that this uh, was helpful for you guys. Um, I have a couple of projects that I want to work on um, that I will be posting in the future. So stay tuned um, for some additional content leveraging uh, VMware and Azure. And I'm looking forward to getting that out to you guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.